Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to Tech Tuesday, your weekly look at everything to do with technology in golf. And we have some new releases, some pre-releases and some early looks about new stuff which is coming out, namely Cobra New... Cobra New Gear? New Cobra Gear and a new Callaway X Series driver which looks... And let's start with that new driver from Callaway. So it's the Callaway X series, which has just come on the USGA conforming list. I'll throw some pictures up here from Golf WRX. There's nothing really to go on apart from the fact that it's called the X series and it has a Chevron logo alignment mark on the top. Now, my rough guess of this is because of the Rogue stuff which has come out, this is going to be a lower price product. But what I would say about that, and this is something which does remain to be seen, is with the Callaway X Series product, which is going to be a lower price point than the Rogue. Again, that's a prediction, but I think it's pretty solid. How low is it actually going to be? So I've just searched for the Rogue online, and the price that I've got, first one up was Clubhouse Golf, which is an online retailer here in the UK, and it is for £429. That converted to dollars is although it might be cheaper in the States depending on where you go. Now, bear in mind, that is a lot of money for a driver. That is a lot of money for a driver. So the Callaway X series, when that comes out, you imagine it's sitting below that price point, which would probably be between about 200 and 250 pounds, which is dollars. So obviously no idea how this is gonna be performance wise, but is it gonna be anything better than what the Rogue does or anything else does on the market? I would very, very much doubt it. And the fact is that that price, if that is what it comes out at, and again, we don't know, that is what a decent driver release, a new driver release would have been about three years ago. So the increase in the cost of the driver, that top end of the bag, has really increased across all manufacturers pretty much in these last few years but as always love to know your thoughts below comment what do you think about the pictures of this driver and is this something you're going to be interested in and what are your thoughts on this and we have some new releases from cobra so a one length driving iron and two different sets of iron including a one length version so these are the cobra forge tech black irons and there's going to be a variable length iron and a standard length iron standard length iron one length iron i always do get confused a one length iron and then a variable length iron there's going to be two sets of irons one of the sets is going to be one length and they come in all black now people really do like an all black finish on irons when they do come out although reading through uh, the press statement here this is not a black finish oh no 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 so what cobra is saying on the black finish not a black finish is that irons that are finished <laughs> Irons generally that come out with this black color, they are not as durable as a steel iron as far as that coating. Okay, let's get my wording right. So normally what Cobra is saying is when an iron comes out with a black finish, that finish does not generally last that long. So it starts to wear down and you start to get that little bit of an effect where you have a black iron surround and then near the sweet spot, if you're a decent pull striker, it starts to wear down and generally on the club, that black finish starts to wear so you see the steel underneath. Now in these irons, Cobra are using diamond black metal, which does sound absolutely awesome. Um, basically what they're doing is they're embedding that black finish deeper down into the steel so it doesn't wear down. So these are replacing the old Kingforge Tech Irons. Now, rather unusually in the modern age, you would say, this is the first updated version of that iron for two and a bit years. So there's been quite a bit of time between the release of these irons. And what Cobra are trying to do with this is really pit it against your tailor-made P790s, you know, that type of iron which is giving a lot of distance high launching, probably low spinning. The irons are gonna come with a stock AMT shaft. I really like the AMT shaft. That's what I've got in my one length at the moment. I love the way it feels. I have to say that's probably my favorite shaft that I've tried in irons for quite some time. And of course, they are releasing this iron in a one length version of well, which for me is gonna be interesting. That is the current iron makeup that I am using. So it would be interesting to see how these perform. And if it does address the one big problem that I found with my one length iron. 
height. And that is the peak height. So generally with my higher lofted irons, I need to get my wording right on this, over so my pitching wedge to my 9.9 to my 8 iron, they go very high and they go quite far. And when I get down to my 4 iron, the distance is still okay, but it's such a low fly. I can't really seem to get much launch, launch and height. Because it's a standard length to a 7 iron, it just doesn't really allow me to get the club head speed up, even with the different head density that it has. So a quote here from Tom Olsavsky, this is about the one length irons here. Uh, we're trying to keep the CG in the same place heel to toe so you have a good consistency. But we're trying to make it lower in the long irons and a little bit higher in the short irons. One thing we learn with one length is there's still a bit of trajectory concern at the extremes. We have definitely a low CG in the one length irons than we do in variable length. That helps make up for a little bit of what you lose with the shorter club length. So basically what they're saying is they recognize that there is an issue with the old one length irons and they're trying to rectify that to actually keep the heights a little bit more consistent. And Cobra really are the only manufacturer, the main manufacturer, if you want to look at it like that, because there's companies like Adele and like Sterling who have one length irons as well. But the main manufacturers, the really well-recognized brands, these are the only ones really out there at this moment in time. So Cobra do have an opportunity Opportunity to solidify themselves in the one length market and certainly after they've signed DeChambeau to that long-term contract they're going to have to keep producing these clubs so what do you think let me know I am still a little bit on the fence with the one length lines because of that trajectory problem but this may solve them so let us know what you think and the other club that Cobra are bringing out is a little bit more of an updated version of this bad boy so this is the Cobra King Utility uh, they're bringing out an updated version of that with the milled face and with other technologies in there as well. But they're also bringing out a one length version of this. Now, I wasn't 100% convinced with this in some respects. It didn't feel amazing off the face, even though the distance was pretty good. I think there are other better options out there in the utility market, in that driving iron market. However, the one length version, again, does interest me. Um, and of course, with that black finish, not black finish, it looks absolutely awesome as well. So it would be interesting to give that a go. So just to end this Tech Tuesday, I'm gonna have a look at a couple of things I have been sent through to have a look at. Now, the first one is this my golf crate and um, they send this through it's like a as far as i'm aware a subscription service that if you subscribe to it you get a crate through every month and it's just filled with golf stuff um so let's have a little bit of a look this was sent through last month so this isn't up to date as far as i'm aware this month well let's see what you get it's wrapped in tissue paper which is lovely uh, let's have a look. So, subscription service. Each month, uh, create features, top golf products, train aids, golf balls, more, blah, blah, blah. This is the January crate. So, in the January crate, you get a Forbes practice golf chipping net. Ooh. You get some castle tees. I will take these to the uh, range. Rick, I'm bringing some tees in. He always moans up. Oh, there we get TC's he's always the one that buys them. Uh, some Callaway HX practice balls. Oh, they're soft. Oh, the dog's gonna love them. Hand warmers. Bloody hand warmers, brilliant, right. Rules of golf, a little bit of bedtime reading. A National Club Golfer magazine, which is magazine here in the UK. And a three piece premium ball, the Volvic Vivid, the yellow ones. They are bright. So that's a January edition. Um, I'm pretty sure that was the premium version there. Is that the premium version there? I'm not sure, the website's a little bit confusing, but the classic subscription, 29.95, premium subscription, 39.95. It seems pretty steep for what is in there, but guys, have you ever used one of these subscription services before? Um, it's certainly something which is new to me and I don't know, is this something you would be interested in generally? Now the other thing I've been sent through, I'm gonna to have to just detach the mic from it here and I'll hold it. I was using this as a kind of like a mic stand. This is a Glover. I've gotta got show you this, I've gotta show you this. So this Glover, this is a head cover for your driver and I don't know if this is brilliant or terrible, if I'm being honest with you, but it sits on the end of your driver. So when it's in your bag, um, as you've got like a carry bag and you've got the driver on the other end, 
the back of the driver has a little glove slot, so it keeps your hand warm when you're walking. Um, I, I honestly don't know if that is brilliant or terrible. Um, the design of it is actually very warm in there. I wouldn't say it's um, going to hit the catwalks of Paris anytime soon, but hey, I like funky stuff like that. Right guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, let us know your comments about everything below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well. Uh, loads to come this week. Loads of videos um, are going to be dropping of varying different things. I'm really excited about some of the videos that are coming up as well. I've also got to finally get this office finished up and decorated. And that's my job for tonight. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.